With Ultradocs, you can generate print and send documents right from the cloud. As an example, let's build a simple online shop using Ultradocs by gluing together several Google services. I want to use this Google document as a template for sending out nice HTML emails whenever the user submits the order form. To get started, click on Open Sidebar in the Ultradocs Template Editor menu. As our template is not yet connected to Ultradocs, we can create a new Ultradoc right from the sidebar. Clicking on the Create button will fire up Ultradocs in a new browser tab. Keep your Google document and Ultradocs open side by side to be able to work on both your template and the actions that shall be performed. Ultradocs will create a new file on Google Drive holding the configured actions, so give it a reasonable name and description. Next, we can select a predefined use case as a starting point. You can trigger Ultradocs from a Google form, perform a mail merge based on your Gmail contacts or on contacts in a spreadsheet, or generate documents based on other data sources. Let's pick the first one, as we want to trigger Ultradocs whenever a user submits a form. To do so, we can create a new empty form connected with Ultradocs. Clicking on Create will copy an empty form on your Google Drive that we can use as a starting point. In the empty form, you will find an Ultradocs menu where you can open the Ultradocs Forms sidebar. Again, authorization is required when opening the sidebar for the very first time. In the sidebar, click on Activate to trigger Ultradocs whenever a user submits the form. The image on top of the sidebar will indicate whether Ultradocs will be triggered or not. Let's now create the cookie order form. Let's collect the name and delivery address of the user as well as the number of ordered brownies, muffins and cookies. Optimize the form by selecting the proper field types and data validation rules. This will tell Google Forms to use a number field for entering the number of brownies, muffins and cookies. Collecting the email address of the user will allow us to send him the confirmation email. In the sidebar you can also configure the variable names to be used in the template. Ultradocs will create variable names based on the item names by default. Let's switch back to Ultradocs and click on the Update button to load the form definition. You will then be able to enter a default value for each field so that you can test the template without submitting the form. In the next step, we can choose the desired output format to be generated. We want to generate a nice HTML email from our template, so we choose HTML as the output format. And finally, we can choose the actions to be performed whenever the document gets generated. Generated documents can be uploaded to Google Drive, sent out by email or printed right from the cloud using Google Cloud Print. Let's just send out an HTML email. As you can see in the tour field, Ultradocs variables can be used in every text field. The email body itself will be generated from our template. Now we are ready to go. We can switch back to our Google document in order to improve our template. But let's first of all have a look at the Ultradoc we've got. This Ultradoc will be triggered from our Google form. All form fields are available as Ultradocs variables. In the next step, HTML will be generated from our template by merging the variables into the document. And finally, the email will be sent out to the respondent. When switching back to our template, you can see that Ultradocs has generated some dummy content to show you how to access the form fields. You can simply access the submitted data or you can use one of the provided renderers to format the output according to your needs. From country-specific date, time and currency formatting to cool stuff like rendering addresses as a map, there's a lot of stuff waiting for you. Insert variables into your template by simply clicking on them in the sidebar. Let's check if everything works as expected by clicking on the preview button. This will run Ultradocs and open the preview of your document in a new browser tab. The date has been properly formatted and we can see a map of the entered delivery address. Very nice. This should also work when submitting the form, so let's check that out. Open the live form and enter some data. As promised, Google Forms has created some nice value spinners for each of the number fields. 
When submitting the form, Ultradocs will be triggered and will run all the configured actions. An email should arrive in my inbox shortly. Here we go. Ultradocs is pre-processing your HTML to make sure that all images are embedded in Gmail and that your layout stays intact. But we are not yet done. I would like to attach a nice PDF invoice to the confirmation email. Let me add a script to calculate the total price and the included VAT to be displayed in the invoice. The new script comes with some example content showing you where to put your code. I'm calculating the sum for each item as well as the net and total price and the included VAT. Describe the input and output parameters of your script so that you can use them in your templates. This is just Google Apps Script, so you could take advantage of all the services Google provides. To enable Ultradocs to access the script, we have to publish it as a web app. So let's do that after giving it a reasonable name. Click on Deploy as Web App in the Publish menu, save a new version and click on Deploy. Copy the URL and paste it into the Settings dialog in the Ultradocs tab. Ultradocs will then analyze your script and should show all the input and output parameters defined. As Ultradocs is executing all building blocks from top to bottom, let's move the script below the form. Move your building blocks by drag and drop or with the icons on the right hand side. Let's now create another template to generate the PDF invoice. This will create and open a new Google document in a new browser tab and connect it with the Ultradoc. I've prepared a nice template using the available variables. To format the prices, I've been leveraging the currency renderer. Let's switch back to Ultradocs and update the building block referencing the new template. Ultradocs will scan the template and track down the used variables. The icon beneath the variable name will indicate where the data comes from. Let's move the invoice generation above the email so that we can send out the generated PDF as an attachment. Click on the edit icon to customize the email. All generated documents can be attached and the attachment can be renamed. When opening the Ultradocs template editor in the new template, all the building blocks providing variables and located above this template will show up. Our online shop example is complete. Let's submit another form to see how the final email looks like. All the configured actions will be run when submitting the form. As we have added additional actions, it may take a few seconds longer than first time until we receive the email. It's no surprise how the email itself looks like, but this time we will find a beautiful PDF invoice attached. Thanks for watching.